Welcome back guys and we're going to have a look at the Triceratops featuring Loana from the cult classic movie 1 million years BC all the way from the 70s and the Triceratops itself is one of Ray Harryhausen's um, creations and he did all the stop motion for the movies and also all the other famous monster movies like Clash of the Titans and the Sinbad movies etc. So we're going to look at this figure that it, that's released by Star Ace in more detail and we will start off with the awesome artwork on the box. As you can see it is a really really beautiful box artwork that we have here we've got the triceratops looking so menacing and just eyeing off Loana and she's like all shocked and stuff really 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 beautiful artwork you've got Harryhausen on the top star ice um, we'll go in closer we've got the 1 million years BC logo and what I really like is you've got old vintage film running down there Triceratops 32 centimeters and we've got the logo 100 years Ray Harryhausen anniversary I think that's because he would have turned 100 years old recently and we've got Lana for leather clothes on and so forth and the Triceratops so let's have a look on the other side of the box. So we're at the back of the box now and I'll zoom in a bit more. So what I really like, you got Ray Harryhausen there. You know, that's that that creature there is the lady from, I think it's the sev seventh voyage of Sinbad. The one that where the Cyclops is included that I think the wizard, um, the evil wizard turn the lady into the snake I remember so we'll look at it a bit more closer but yeah so you got um, just basically what's included a bit of a bio so we've got Ray Harryhausen himself there working away with his with his uh, models for the movies and you got the Triceratops there with Loana and there you go Requel Welch and got some more of his creations there and um, yeah this figure itself you can buy the figure separate just to try Ceratops on its own without without Loana but I was able to pick this up with with both of them included it's a bit more pricey but in my opinion it's nice uh, to have one of the main characters of the movie together with the figure and also it looks really good together with um, Tumak and the Allosaurus as well. And one thing I want to mention on the underside of the box. So we're at the underside of the box. As you can, even, you can see Star Ace, Star Ace has released this, but the sculpt is still produced by X Plus and the artist uh, Kaya Butsa. So you still got the X Plus um, company behind the creation of this. So just wanted to note that out there. So we'll have a look at the figure now. So I'm going to start off with Loana. So as you can she see, she comes on this stand, and we'll have a look at the stand first. It's just like just rocky texture, sandy, with a bit of shrubbery, nothing too fancy. But what I've done is I've actually blue tacked her on because she just kind of sits there and she's really easy to knock over. So to avoid that, I just blue tacked her legs on there. So now she's nice and stable. That's one of my gripes with this figure is I wish it, there was pins there where she could just lock into. 
but it's okay. It's not it's not the end of the world. So yeah, we just got um, just a bit of licensing there in Loana statue. Um, let's start off with your legs. Got some nice leather shoes detail, like really good skin texture, like that the the scalp and the design and the the artwork here is amazing like like even though it's plastic kind of looks like real cloth and really really good details like in the i don't have the best camera so i'll try and focus best i can like in the eyes and the face the hair like there's not much smudging going there the paint is applied really really well like I'm really really impressed with the quality of the figure I've got to like just with the details like just with the little rips and really really amazing this is a famous scene from the movie this is a scene I'm pretty sure is when she's um she's coming out of the water so this bikini shot of her of the of the actress anyway R Requel Welsh is really really famous and it was so famous that they made a poster of it and even on the the movie it's even got her on the cover and on the movie posters as well so really really famous and while we're here I'll just explain something as well as you can see the brontosaurus what they wanted to actually do was they wanted to have the brontosaurus in the at the end of the movie in a battle scene with the cavemen when the volcano is going off and stuff but due to budgeting and all that they actually they had to remove this scene altogether and you just see the brontosaurus for a few moments earlier on in the movie so a bit of false advertising here with the battle scene with the cavemen, but would have been so amazing to have seen that in the movie. But hopefully, Star Ace can can produce something like this in the future. Anyway, that even though it didn't happen, but the figure itself was in the movie. So, and as you can see, good old Triceratops. So, what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the Triceratops. So here we have the Triceratops, and I do apologise. At the intro, I actually had the 1 million um, years BC little rock attachment on the wrong way. So I do apologize that. So as you can see, the Triceratops is simply amazing. It is definitely a retro style of Triceratops. You know, like in the 19... You know, like the early 1920s, 30s style. So, let's have a look closer. The details of the face. So, you got the horns. You just got that eye that's just, like, just staring at you. You know, it's just ready to stab, stab you with its horns. And, yeah, just amazing details on the frill look all the folds of the skin and the scales and the frill and got the back and got the one million logos so and that just kind of just kind of pops on like that Turn it around. Yeah, just a lot of details, skin folds, all those bumps and grooves and scales. Very light, very light. It, it is hollow. Let's have a closer look at the face. Just really menacing. 
So like words can't do it justice. It's basically what the images do and what do we have here? Just got st star rays. Made in Bangladesh. But yeah, just all the folds and the details. Not much color, but that's okay. That's Triceratops was usually always um, portrayed in a grey or greeny color. So what we'll do is we'll put the two together and I'll wrap it up. So I'm pretty impressed by the figure. Both figures are uh, detailed really well and the quality is exceptional. My only gripe is Lawana doesn't have any pegs or anything to fasten into the base. But overall, this is quite an impressive figure and a must for any Ray Harryhausen fan. Or also, if you're into the old uh, vintage dinosaur monster movies with stop motion, I suggest this is a great investment to have. I do have a displayed with Tumak and the Allosaurus and they go really well together. I am planning to pick up more of their figures from, from Star Ace, the Ceratosaurus and a few of the Sinbad ca characters and also the Kraken that's going to be released later on in the year. Yeah, it, just they've created a great product here. And even the box artwork is amazing. So if I know that if you're in a position where you don't have the room like me, sometimes display all your figures. I may have them all one day just in the box and have the boxes displayed on the shelf if there's no room in the cabinets. But anyway, guys, not too many negatives with this one apart from the being no leg pins for Lona. And maybe the logo underneath the Triceratops for the 1 million years BC. Some people may like that or some people might not. I don't actually mind it because once it's displayed in the, in the cabinet, if someone is unfamiliar with these characters, they can always just um, search the name and then they can um, have an indication where these characters came from and the history and the movie so forth you can pick this up on its own the triceratops on its own but i if you can i suggest pick it up with Lana. it's good to have um all the characters together and they match up really well with tumak and the allosaurus and there is another triceratops coming out as well on its own in a different pose as well but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one million years bc review and i'll see you soon